suppose Everton Anfield doesn't get much bigger, does it? No, not at all. If uh, Merseyside Derby at Anfield isn't fuel, then I don't know what it is. So, yeah, the girls are ready and buzzing. Um, we can't wait to get on the pitch, to be fair. I suppose in terms of last weekend, kicking off against Chelsea, probably seen by many as the, 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 the fix that you don't want. But you, you know, girls put on a show, got to win. I suppose that's the statement that you've always wanted to make. Yeah, exactly that. We we did want to put a statement out there, and you know we had that belief in our changing rooms, the players, the staff, that we could go out there and and get a result. And yeah, it's good to make like stamp our mark on the league, and hopefully we'll kind of take that momentum into the game this weekend. I suppose then in terms, you know, you, you beat Chelsea, and if you beat Everton, I don't, I don't feel the weekend. Do you think that really then signals that intent of the league that you know, Liverpool are in the area to you know the serious contenders, not really make the numbers? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got the squad to do it. We've got the players to do it. We've got the depth in the squad to do it. And yeah, I think um, people might have underestimated us, but we have had a we've had a season of winning last year in the championship, and we've had a season of building blocks. And um, yeah, we've been able to take that into this season. Obviously, it's going to be slightly different in the Super League. It's a little bit more intense, but we've definitely rose to that occasion. In terms of Northern played on field, it's it's pretty it must be pretty surreal when you think of you know where the, the club was last season in terms of fighting to get back into WSL to play in Anfield this weekend to be playing them top teams it's almost like a reward yeah I mean yeah it is kind of a reward but I think we deserve to play here I think we deserve to play at Anfield um, at least once a season um, even though we've been, we were in the championship last year we were a Super League team um, and that really helped us and I think that will really help us this year as well I mean, I played here in 2019 against Everton and minus the result, it was just an amazing occasion and the fans came out in the thousands and, yeah, it was it was a really good occasion then and hopefully it'll be the same this time. Just, you know, in terms of that game back in 2019 when it was, I think it was just under 23,000, Maria, you didn't get the result. Does that not get the results almost a bit more driving factor to this time make, make amends and, and make sure you get the right results and yeah. the show the people. <laughs> yeah a little bit a little bit bitter from that I'm not going to lie <laughs> um, but yeah we'll, we'll make amends and we've just got to put out the best performance that we can and hopefully the quality will shine through and, and take care of itself on the day and yeah we want to get something from this game and yeah we'll stamp our mark as much as we can and everything will be left out on the pitch at the end of the day and as long as we stick to our game plan and, and execute that then I think we'll be okay. In terms of I know people will be probably come to maybe come for the first time, come to watch women's football after the first time. What what can they expect to see? You know, see there's been a lot in the summer in terms of the women's Euros and how much that put the women's game on the map. But for those who've, who've never kind of took an interest, what can they expect if they come to Manfield at the weekend? They can expect a really good environment um, you know, last time round, every time you got over the halfway line, they'd roar you on, and it was just unbelievable to try and get us over the line. Um, yeah, it's an incredible, incredible place to, to come. I mean, when when I come and watch the men play, uh, oh, it's just unreal. I said I've never ever been to a stadium like it, like felt that kind of atmosphere like it before. Um, so yeah, they, hopefully they'll see some goals <laughs> from our side. <laughs> And some good quality football, and yeah, the Euros has been a great platform for the women's game over over the summer, and hopefully that will continue, and we'll keep on um, filling the seats. In terms of the platform, then it, it was massive, wasn't it? I suppose in terms of you know for yourself and everyone else, you know, involved in women's football, that like, you know, come out on, you know, not just put on a show, but come out on top, and and the, you know the, the public took the game the way they did the during the summer. Yeah, it's great, and the fact that they they kind of travelled around um, the UK as well, so we could watch games all over the place. It just shows that you can get down to your nearest club now and your women's team and, and come and support them. And you can't miss out on an opportunity like this to come to Anfield and have your bum on a seat here. <laughs> Missy Everton Anfield doesn't get much bigger, does it? No, can't wait for it. I think. We've been waiting for this game for a few years now while we haven't been in the top league and now we're here. It's time to put a show on. Obviously, you know, you kicked off in the best possible way beating Chelsea at the weekend. Is that left the appetite for more in front of the Anfield crowd? It shows we can beat anyone if we're beating the champions of the league last year and it's momentum going in and confidence for us and we're all on a high but we know we've got a job to do again this Sunday and that's how we are. In terms of statements, I suppose beating Chelsea is no bigger statement, is it, in the WSL and if you're Everton, look, having been beat by West Ham and looking at your result later on even, you'd be pretty fearful when you come to Anfield at the weekend. Yeah, they're going to know we're not going to be high on confidence and they might be a bit down because they got beat, but that's football, it doesn't matter what's happening in the league. As soon as the Merseyside derby comes, everyone raises the game. Obviously, you know, in terms of a local girl yourself, 
to play around field and to be you know representing Liverpool. It's a dream come true, isn't it? Yeah, a big dream come true. It's one thing as soon as I started playing football, that's what I wanted to do, and for it to be hopefully coming possible on Sunday, I can't wait. Obviously, we've seen you know the women's Euros, what that's done for the game in the summer. In terms of Liverpool's at City, obviously Natasha Jones become a unified world champion early this month. You must be hoping that the, the, the Mayside sports fans are forced to weekend and support not just yourselves but obviously Everton and, and put on a good show. Yeah, I think Liverpool's a community, all the sport supports the sport. Like Natasha, I was made up for her and I wouldn't be surprised if she comes on the weekend and brings a little daughter because she loves her football. Her sister Nikita from Liverpool's just won the Euros and I think it's good to see that everyone's supporting each other and Hopefully, not only people in sport, but fans of sport will come and support us. How, how excited are you to be back around for the weekend? Yeah, really excited. It's obviously a, a dream come true as a Liverpool player, and I think you know the girls were really, really excited. And after such a positive start last Sunday, I think we're really excited to get get on the pitch again and see what we can do this weekend. I suppose then, in terms of a, a derby, it's, it's not been a game, is it, to return to Anfield and all? It's been no, a long exactly. Time played, yeah, it's a yeah. massive game. It's historic for the city, and I think you know I've realised. Living here for you know over a year now, I think I've realised how big of a game it is to this city and how passionate we are about it. So I think for us, it's a really important game, and it's nice to be back in the WSL to play it. So yeah, we're excited. I suppose then, you know when you say about the WSL and the return, these are the games and it's the reason why you, you fought so hard is to get back in the WSL. So you're playing the best teams at Anfield in the big occasions. Yeah, completely. I think you know obviously we worked so hard last year. I think uh, you know it was a real graph last year from everybody from the staff to the players and. You know, we're back, we're back where we belong now. It's such a big club and we needed to be in the top league. We knew that. And, yeah, I think, you know, these are games. Chelsea last weekend, it was a massive game. You know, Everton this weekend, you know, we've had quite the start, really. I suppose as well, in terms of you know, promotion last year, it's almost like the perfect reward, isn't it, for you? That, you know, last year's battle, you know, to work so hard to get over the line, to then you know, get the chance to play around field, you know, play Everton, Chelsea. It's almost like a reward, isn't it, for all your hard work? It is a reward, but it's where we belong to be. Um, you know, I think it's... It's a massive, massive club. It's a global, global club, and you know we need to be in the top league, and you know we need to be competing for trophies as well as the men. So, yeah, we're back where we belong, and we're really excited by it. I suppose then, you know, in terms of you look at the summer rush going on women's football and women's sports in general, it's never been bigger, and, and the, the attention to growth. You expecting a bump of crowds at the weekend? Yeah, hopefully. I think uh, you know we're on, we're on course for a really good crowd. I think obviously the summer, you know, women's football went mad, and I don't think anyone quite appreciated how how mad it went really and you know it's really exciting to be a player there's no exciting more time to be in, in this in this sport and yeah the, the way that it's going it's going to be back to think. Both then in terms of you know kicking off the season obviously it was a week later than originally planned because the game's was postponed but to get hold of a two women over Chelsea was pretty huge wasn't it for you, you and the girls? Yeah of course it was a massive massive game you know Chelsea are a world class team and you know but, but we want to be competitive in this league and I think you know we, we made that statement on Sunday night I think you know, we obviously came in with a game plan and we frustrated Chelsea and I think that was really, really, you know, credit to the girls, we stuck to the game plan, but credit to the staff, I think the way they set us up was unbelievable and, you know, we've, we've gone in and we've, we've frustrated one of the best teams in the world and we've managed to come away with a win against the champions, so, yeah, exciting to go into this weekend. Just posting after, after you beat Chelsea the way you do and, and the, and the games in which, you know, the way you come away with three points, has it almost changed your preparation for Ed this weekend because of does the spring world give you or is it just a piece of much the same? No, it's much the same. I think, you know, we, we prepare for every game as it we prepare for that opponent. So yeah, we'll prepare for Everton this weekend and then we'll prepare for, for the next team and the next team after that. I suppose though in terms of like, you know, contrasting results, you know, we used to get three points out of the beaten, you be Chelsea. Is it is it almost be wary of it like not being in the hands of the Lord Mayor's parade and you know, getting a little bit too heavy yourself if we've had one good result? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, Beardy keeps us very, very grounded and, and as a squad we're very grounded and we know how tough this league will be. We'll have ups and we'll have downs. And look, we've had a great start but we know how comp competitive it's going to be and, you know, we will we will have hard times as well and I think obviously we're on a high right now but we're very grounded and we're excited for the In terms of, you know, the promotion and what follows, is there any aspirations within the squad and all five of both the season before, before the ball was picked or was it a case of, you know, cement yourselves in the division, you know, being, being hard to beat and, and yeah. moving from there? Obviously, you know, we want to, first and foremost, we have to stay in the division. I think that's the most important thing, but we want to be competitive. And I think, you know, Beardy's just put this belief into us as a squad that, you know, we can go and compete in this league. And I think we've shown that first, first, first hand up this weekend. So we'll just go as far as we can and be competitive in every single game that we play. And we'll go in with the mentality that we can win every single game because that's football at the end of the day. It's 11 players and, and you've just got to go into every game and, and hope that you can win.